Hi, this is Philip in the Austin, Texas office, and I'd like to take a few minutes to look at the user interface of SOLIDWORKS 2017. If you haven't started using breadcrumbs in SOLIDWORKS, I highly recommend them. They give me the ability to click on a single face and immediately get the entire hierarchy from upper level assembly down to underlying sketch. I've also got the default reference planes for this component, really handy for mating, as well as any existing mates along with their suppression state. If I see an error or warning, a single click will bring me the what's wrong information, as well as the edit feature button so I can immediately replace this face that was missing in a mate. Now whether you're inside of a part or an assembly in SOLIDWORKS, there's a lot of items that could be showing in the interface such as axes, sketches, and planes, and it's nice to be able to hide all of this with a single click in the heads up toolbar or bring it back exactly as it was. If you've become a fan of dynamic reference visualization, that ability to simply hover your mouse and see the parent-child references, you'll notice it's been cleaned up so it never overlaps the tree in 2017, and it even includes the what's wrong information for any error or warning. Again though, anywhere you see an error or warning, a single click brings you that what's wrong information, as well as the proper control to immediately go fix what's missing. Here I'm missing just an axis to do a circular pattern, so I'll add that in, and all that's really remaining is to clean up a fillet in this part. Editing this fillet, I like using the selection toolbar so I can get multiple edges in one click, although it's nice to clean up my interface a little bit by just closing that and getting out of the way. And of course there's a checkbox to bring it back should I ever need it again in the future. Now in both parts and assemblies, I tend to use a lot of configurations. I do this for what-if scenarios, for simulations. A really common area to use a lot of configurations is for hardware. Take for instance this screw. I've got different configurations for material, for each individual size, and that's a lot to manage. Wouldn't it be nice to simply right click and order this perhaps historically as they were created? Or maybe numerically would make more sense? Or really what I've been using the absolute most, a manual drag and drop. So I can take the sizes I use most and move them up to the top of the list. This means that when I'm using this piece of hardware in assembly or anyone else's, we don't have to go digging through a list. I know my most common sizes are right at the top. This assembly I'm working on actually was a pretty large collaborative effort. A lot of designers left comments for the next user to read, so of course we need to be able to show these with a simple indicator in the tree. Now anywhere a comment exists is shown and simply hovering my mouse gives me the full comment information. And you can add comments to just about anything from folders to assemblies, mates, even sensors. And when you add a comment, it doesn't have to just be flat text. It could be a timestamp or a screenshot. It could even be a file from your computer, maybe in a, a common file format. I've got a couple JPEGs around. I want to add one in for some decal designs. Now the next user who comes here can view all of my comments, perhaps even sort them by date created, see how this assembly has grown between the entire group, and my new decals, which can be shown, hidden or shown, in display states. As you can see, there's a lot to the user interface in 2017 that brings more performance and power right to our fingertips.